welcome everybody to today's service hours webinar. We at SHPO have decided to come online on Fridays to help out all of the businesses that are, you know, kind of shifting gears um, in this new situation that we're in um, and coming online and selling their products online. So we wanted to give everyone some insights that we had for coming online. Before we kick off, just want to give you guys a, an introduction to who will be guiding you through today's webinar. I'm Joanne, I'm on the customer success team here at Shippo and I will moderate today's webinar. I will ask Mike and Malcolm a bunch of questions that our customers have about coming online, about choosing packages and whatnot, and they will give us their wonderful insights and their expertise um, throughout today's session. So Mike, why don't you introduce yourself real quick? Thanks, Joe. Uh, that is a hilarious picture of me there, considering the uh, state of uh, my uh, beard right now. I um, <laughs> hope everybody's having a great Friday. Uh, I, my name's Mike Hathaway. I am the head of our uh, inbound sales team here at Shippo. I've been working in the e-commerce space uh, for about two and a half years now, so helping businesses come on uh, line, take advantage of discounted shipping rates, help strategize around how to price items so that uh, their customers are, are their uh, most successful as possible for getting customers con to convert in a uh, in a shopping cart, as well as helping them design uh, package uh, packaging for their items. So happy to answer any questions about getting set up and ready to ship and how to do that in the most cost effective manner. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. And yes, that is Hilarious the difference that um, the past seven weeks has made since seeing you in office and in this picture. Uh, Malcolm, why don't you give us a quick intro on yourself? <laughs> yeah, hey everyone. Uh, my name is Malcolm. I'm also on the sales team with Mike. Um, somewhat hilarious photo, I guess, now considering I'm pretty much clean shaven in that picture and maybe I have a little mustache now. But uh, my background is, is in e-commerce uh, before I was here at Shippo. Uh, I was at Walmart e-commerce uh, and before that was at a, another major uh, online retailer and run a small e-commerce business in my, in my personal time. Um, so this is something that I'm passionate about. I've been there. I've been at square one trying to figure out how to get things shipped out, how to start my own business. So I'm, I'm right in the same spot that a lot of you folks are in today and I'm happy to lend my insights, happy to help and, and happy to just be in this with you guys. Awesome. Thanks, guys. And what we're going to do is basically break down the like getting started questions from our customers as they come online and um, start to ship um, their products online. But before we do that, Malcolm, I'm going to go to you to give us a quick overview of, you know, what Shippo is, what we do, um, and why we're kind of relevant right now um, into like managing all of these um, uh, shipping that our customers are, are doing right now. Yeah, absolutely. So Shippo is a lot of things and um, you know, I'll do my best to explain it in the simplest way possible, but Shippo is a multi-carrier order management platform that gives you access to discounted rates and connects seamlessly with your e-commerce storefront. Okay. So, um, in, in a nutshell, we connect to your e-commerce platform. We help you manage your orders after they've obviously been transacted, uh, help you print your labels, help your customers track the items. And if you so need it, we help you automate returns. Joe, I think you're on mute. Whoops, you are right. Um, but thank you for giving us that quick background on Shippo and um, how it could be useful in today's circumstances. Um, and you know what we really wanted to do is give everyone insights into how to get started. And we know a ton of people have a lot of questions around, um, you know, how do I pick my packages? How do I manage these um, shipments and whatnot? And we're going to break down those questions. Um, the first question that, you know, I had as I was learning the industry is like, and uh, is, uh, 
how do I choose my packaging? What's right for me? What, um, what's right for my product? And for that, I'm going to go to you, Mike, to give us your insights. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Uh, this is definitely a question that we get asked all the time from customers who who are either just starting out uh, on the e-commerce side of their business, uh, maybe launching e-commerce for the first time during COVID, uh, or somebody who you know maybe uh, is shipping at, has been shipping out for a while and wants to uh, maximize their overall uh, shipping um, shipping costs uh, to make, uh, by reevaluating their packaging decisions. Uh, so there are a few important things to keep in mind when you're choosing your packaging. Uh, first and foremost is making sure your uh, your item gets there intact. So if your item is fragile, if it's um, technology, if it's uh, anything along those lines, you do want to make sure to package it properly, have bubble wrap where necessary, have uh, the, uh, the uh, recycling or uh, recyclable uh, uh, bubble inserts now that are available, use uh, paper, what, whatever uh, you need to there. Um, it's always important when adding uh, additional uh, packaging to your box that uh, you try to minimize weight as much as possible. When it comes down to shipping costs, which we'll discuss in a few moments here, uh, it's calculated based on the dimensions and weight of your package. So trying to keep those dimensions as small and uh, the weight as light as possible help you minimize shipping costs. Uh, when it comes to picking your packaging that you're going to be uh, using, uh, there are a lot of different options. Whether you're using that po a poly mailer bag, uh, which is just a, a simple plastic bag that you can insert your items into, uh, bubble envelope uh, boxes, um, there are a lot of different options available to you out there. And certainly Shippo can help you send out all of those types of packaging. Uh, one of the uh, one of Shippo's great partners is USPS. And a, what a lot of businesses aren't aware of when they get started shipping is that USPS actually gives packaging away for free. Um, so you can log on to USPS.com right now um, and order packaging directly from their website to be sent to your home or business uh, so that you don't have to go to your post office uh, to collect that packaging. They give it to you and then you can ship out directly through USPS. Uh, those shipments paying the rate associated with either with the flat rate box they send you or with the priority mailbox that they send out to you. Um, this isn't the only option for sending with Shippo. Uh, you can uh, use services like Uline, The Boxery, Amazon, Office Depot to get packaging materials. Lots of our customers uh, do use their own branded packaging uh, where they'll throw a logo on uh, a simple padded envelope um, and use that to ship through Shippo. Um, if you are using your own packaging, one without a carrier provider or one without a carrier logo on it, like USPS, UPS, or FedEx, then you have the option to ship through all of the available carriers on Shippo. Uh, if you are using packaging provided by USPS, then USPS will be your only option for that shipment. So uh, a few things to keep in mind when you're picking your packaging. First and foremost, make sure your, uh, your item gets there safely. Second, try to keep it as small and as light as possible. Third, take advantage of some of the free options out there from packaging if uh, you're worried about packaging costs. And then uh, always take a look around different sources for packaging, whether it's a bag, uh, uh, an envelope, a padded envelope, or a box. There are a lot of options out there and a lot of ways to save money. Yeah, those are definitely a lot of options. And thank you for walking us through all of that. And you quickly mentioned it. We're going to jump right into it. But pricing is obviously the next question around um, uh, packaging and what to do to keep your costs down. So, uh, Mike, I'm going to go back to you to walk us through minimizing costs for shipping. And this is definitely uh, an extension of the conversation we just had. So when we're minimizing uh, the size and the overall weight of the item you're sending out, that will allow you to control for costs sending, uh, sending your packages. Um, what you'll find with Shippo is that uh, uh, we have discounts with USPS, UPS, DHL, and can print labels for about 30 other carriers as well. So you can compare all of those rates in one place on Shippo. Um, but it's important to understand exactly how those rates are getting calculated so that you can take advantage of other services that may help you minimize costs. So what you're seeing on your screen here is a rate card. Um, we can send these out to you after, after our call today, but basically it describes uh, what you'll be charged based on the weight of the item and how far you're sending that item. On the left hand side, you're seeing a zone chart. So I'm not sure or if you're just getting into this uh, space, you'll hear shipping zones referred to a lot. 
Um, and shipping zones are based on the distance away from you, you're sending a package. So as you see here, zone one is anything within a 50 mile radius of you, and zone eight is 1800 miles plus. Uh, so dig into that and take a look at where your average shipment might be going. Generally, when trying to figure out shipping costs, our customers will either use zone five as an average of their total shipping costs or zone eight as a way to price shipping so that they make sure that they're always going to have shipping coverage and maybe make a little margin on that shipping cost as well. Um, when it comes to minimizing costs, one of the great tools that certain carriers have available are flat rate boxes. Um, so flat rate boxes with USPS, as the name implies, anything you put in there will sh uh, ship for a, uh, a flat rate. So at the top of the page on the right, you're seeing all the discounted flat rate options through Shippo. So something like a small flat rate box only costs $7.65 to ship, no matter where you're sending it. Um, and that can be advantageous if you're shipping out something fairly heavy. And instead of being charged by the weight, you can be charged by the size of the box. So take a look at a rate chart like this, plug in a few sample shipments into Shippo, get a sense of um, whether or not uh, a weight-based calculation for your shipment is going to be more advantageous than maybe using a flat rate option with one of the carriers. Awesome, that was great information to pass along. Um, we now have the package that we want. We know what we've priced it at. Um, how do I get it? out to my customers now that I um, can't go to the post office or shouldn't go to the post office as often as um, I used to be able to. And Malcolm, I'm going to come to you with the question of um, carrier pickups. How do I take advantage of that? Yeah, absolutely. So uh, carrier pickups. Uh, given the situation, obviously, probably trying to minimize the amount of times you're going just about anywhere these days. Um, of course, with Shippo, if you're printing off shipping labels, you still have the option of going to your local post office to drop them off, but, but let's just put that aside for now. So you do have the option of scheduling a carrier pickup right within Shippo with just a few quick clicks. Uh, that's right in your shipments tab, as you can see on the screen, where you can schedule a pickup with USPS or DHL Express. If you're using a different carrier, such as, say, UPS, you still can have carrier pickups, but that would be arranged directly with that particular carrier. Um, another aspect of the carrier pickup that is really helpful and at sometimes essential is a scan form or a manifest. Uh, if you're just getting started, that might sound like a uh, foreign tongue at this point. Um, that is simply a record or a log of all of your shipping activity, all of your shipments that you are dropping off or giving to the carrier that's associated with one barcode. So imagine if you're a carrier or you're a certain person that's receiving all of these packages at the post office and you had to scan each individual package, say business is booming, things are good, and you have 50 packages that need to go out on a Friday. They'd have to scan each one individually 50 times. With a manifest or a scan form, it's one simple sheet that's associated with all of those parcels. They scan that one barcode and boom, now all of your packages are logged and they're ready to be injected into the system and find their way to your customers. All of this is really easy to do. And like I said, a couple of quick clicks and it's all found in your shipments tab, right in your Shippo web app. Awesome, thanks Malcolm. And while we're talking about packages getting delivered out um, via pickup, um, the next you know, logical question that I had was, how do I make sure my packages get there safely? How do I ensure the packages and, you know, things happen and we want to always make sure that uh, we are adding insurance. So would love your insights um, around package insurance. Yeah, great question. Um, you know, obviously depending on the types of items that you're selling or items that you're sending for that matter, um, different levels of insurance are possibly required or something that you might need. Um, so with that, carriers do, based on the service level, they have a built-in level of insurance, right? That might be $50 with a particular service level, for instance. Um, all of that is dependent on the carrier and the particular service level. There are charts and information that you can find on the Shippo website. Uh, happy to drop those links in later too if you wanna have a little bit more information on that. But all of that aside, I wanna add additional insurance. Say I'm sending um, a, a piece of jewelry and it's valued at $1,000. With Shippo, ensuring that for that declared value is super simple. 
Um, it's only 1% or 1.25% of the declared value, whether you're on our pay-as-you-go plan or our pro plan. Um, and that is with a third party, it's through ShipSurance. So with that, the claims process is really simple. It's easy to get in contact with an agent should you be in a situation where you need to file a claim. Um, and it's simple to get your money reimbursed for the dollar amount. Um, and of course, then get things squared away with your customer. Um, and like I said, it's a simple 1.25% or 1% of the declared value. So for instance, if you're insuring something for $1,000, that would be a simple $10 insurance rate at 1%. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. Um, and we've already mentioned a bunch of different carriers throughout the webinar already. And Shippo makes it pretty easy to, you know, take advantage of uh, different carriers that we have. Uh, and Mike, I'm going to come to you with how our customers can optimize against multiple carriers when they are shipping. Yeah, great question. Uh, so to get started, when you set up Shippo, um, you'll automatically have discounts appear for both U USPS as well as DHL. Uh, so you won't have to do anything to set those up. Uh, we, like I mentioned before in the call, we do have discounts with UPS as well. Um, those can be set up in Shippo by going to our settings and carriers tab, which is what you're seeing in the GIF in the bottom right hand corner. And then there's a banner at the top. Uh, it says Shippo now offers discounted and it, of course it flashes away before I even finish that, but you, you'll see it uh, come up here in the bottom right hand corner. Um, and there's a button on the right hand side. This is activate now. Uh, once you click that button, you'll just fill out a quick form and uh, then you'll have UPS discounts available within your store or within your shipping orders tab within Shippo. Uh, so you can use that, uh, that section now to automatically view the cheapest rate available. And if you click on the rates section of each specific order, you can see all of the available rates for that shipment, whether it be UPS, USPS, or DHL. Additionally, if you have your own carrier accounts with one of our 30 plus other integrated carrier options, you can add that to Shippo as well. Uh, so for instance, I have my own FedEx account. I can add that to Shippo and ship through my own FedEx account or view rates for my own uh, FedEx account directly in Shippo by going to our settings and carriers tab. And then in the top right hand corner of that section, there's an add carrier account button. I just confirm information about my account from my most recent invoice from FedEx. And then the next time I go to fulfill an order, I'll see rates for USPS, UPS, FedEx, uh, and really have transparency in the rate buying process to know that across all of my carrier accounts, I'm always shipping out with the cheapest or fastest method possible. Um, and really that's Shippo's value add. We give you discounts. We pull in all of your uh, available rates for each and every shipment so that you know as a vendor, as a shipper, you're always saving the most money possible on each and every shipment. Awesome, thanks Mike. Um, and so now I have my costs in line, I've chosen my packages and I am, you know, I've chosen the carrier that I want to ship with and I'm gonna start sending it out to customers. Well, personally, as a customer myself, my, one of my favorite things is getting a notification that something is coming <laughs> and something is on its way to me. And, um, you know, Amazon has definitely um, kind of laid the foundation for everyone uh, with this kind of uh, expectation. So I'm really glad we're able to do this on our side as well. So Malcolm, walk us through how we do that in Shippo. Yeah, thanks, Joe. Uh, yeah, if you're, if you're anything like me, I know as soon as I place an order for a, an item, whether it be on Amazon or someplace else, the first thing I'm doing is, is looking for that tracking information and hoping magically it's, uh, it's on my doorstep as soon as I click on it. Of course, that's, that's not exactly reality, but what is important is that I do know exactly where it is at all times, right? Um, and that's obviously an expectation that, that most of your customers, if not all of them, probably have. And that is having quick, easy, reliable, accurate tracking information um, at all times. So with Shippo, you have the ability to send automated tracking notification emails directly to the emails that are associated with your customer's order. Um, Shippo will send out a notification upon creation of the shipment, and you can set custom delays all the way up to 24 hours for when that email goes out. Um, so if you say, for instance, you're scheduling a carrier pickup, um, and that's going to be completed within say up to 24 hours, um, you can have that delay set. So 24 hours after you create the shipment, 
then a tracking notification email goes out to your customer um, and they have the tracking number and the current status that's associated with that parcel. Uh, additionally too, Shippo sends out an automated delivery notification email, uh, notifying your customer that the package has arrived. If we are under normal circumstances and say folks were at the office, they would know that when they got home, they had a package at their mailbox or perhaps at their doorstep. Um, you can elect to keep this feature on automatically or in some circumstances, say for instance with Shopify. Shopify has a similar type of system where they have tracking notification emails. If that's a system that you prefer or something um, that you wanna go with, the choice is totally yours. So you can simply turn that feature on or off within your Shippo settings. Uh, additionally too, you have the ability to send out the tracking notification emails in a little bit more manual capacity. There is a button that you can click if you don't wanna send it out for every single customer order to simply send it out on a one-time basis. Um, the option is totally yours. Most customers elect to go with the automated track notifications sent from Shippo. But again, with our platform, you have the flexibility to manage your business uh, however you see fit and create uh, customer experiences that suit their expectations and your personal brand and company. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. And then I'm going to come right back to you because, you know, as a customer, I order something, I get it. And then I'm like, ah, it's not really the right color or the right size. Um, and then returns come, come into play, right? So how do we handle returns? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm just jump to returns here in one second, but I also wanted to mention, I, I, I think I've missed it there. Um, you can also customize within Shippo the experience for your customer by adding custom brand options or sorry, custom branding uh, elements to the tracking notification uh, landing page, as well as the tracking notification email, uh, such as your custom uh, company color scheme or your custom company logo. Um, so you can really, really create a custom brand experience for your customers at all times um, from end to end. So on the, on the process of returns, uh, another really, really great feature um, within Shippo is how we handle returns or at least empower you and enable you to handle returns for your business. Um, with Shippo, you have the option to create a scan-based return label. So what that means is that you can create a return label that you do not pay for until the customer actually utilizes it to send back their return. So with every shipping label that you print out with Shippo, you can create a matching return label that is scan-based, put that in the box. If the customer doesn't need to execute a return, you're not charged for anything. In the instance that they do, you're simply charged for that return label. And what Shippo does is it reverses the shipping address. So that way the sender is now your recipient and you are, uh, or sorry, your recipient is now the sender and you are now the recipient. Um, additionally, too, if you don't want to include a scan-based return label for every particular order, totally up to you. Um, you can create one-off return labels within the Shippo web app by simply navigating to that particular order and clicking a button that says create return label uh, and then sending that PDF to your customer. Uh, if you want to have a little bit more hands-on or manual process, again, we give you the flexibility to make that decision for what suits your business best. Great, thanks Malcolm. And so we walked pretty much, we've broken down every part of uh, getting your package out there, choosing your package, uh, creating a pricing structure, but um, we left out one key piece of, uh, one, pe one key step in the process, and that's you know managing your orders and getting them online so that you can actually create labels from that. Um, and Mike, I'm gonna come to you with how we connect stores on Shippo. Yeah, great question, Joe. So when you first sign up for Shippo, uh, connecting the store is gonna be one of the first things you do. And whether it's one store or multiple stores, you do it in the same exact way with Shippo. Uh, all you have to do is go to our settings and e-commerce channels section of our platform. And then you'll see all 15 of our available integrations. You hit the connect button next to that, uh, that integration option as you're seeing in the top left-hand corner of your screen and then walk through the uh, connection process for that specific store. Typically, it involves confirming your store's URL as well as the login email for your store and then granting Shippo permission uh, to export information from that store directly to Shippo. 
Uh, as Malcolm mentioned uh, a little bit earlier in this call, we do have a bi-directional sync with these stores. So as soon as an order is placed in your store, it'll automatically appear in Shippo. And then as soon as you fulfill the order in Shippo, we'll map all of the tracking information back to your store and automatically mark that order fulfilled so that notifications from the store go out with the correct tracking information for the label that's been generated in Shippo. And as I mentioned before, you can connect multiple storefronts to Shippo so that you can use Shippo as one place to manage all of your orders. Uh, if you're selling on Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and then have your own Shopify store, uh, we can be that centralized location where you make sure to ship out the packages where they need to go uh, every single day without having an issue. Awesome. Thanks guys. Um, that was super helpful. And I know we gave a lot of information, but is there, you know, any other tips or tricks that we may have missed or you guys want to give our customers? Uh, I'll go ahead and jump in. So um, again, thanks Joe. I think we covered a lot of some of the basics. Um, and maybe allude to some of the additional functionality that you can tap into with Shippo. Of course, this is, as you can understand, just a quick overview of, of just some of the things that Shippo does and some of the tools that we give you and empower you with. Um, but with that, I think my, my tip or trick is actually not a piece of software and it's not a piece of functionality. It's actually the human relationship. Um, and that's with our team. We're here to help you. We're here to be your partner in your business and getting items to your customers and hopefully saving you some money. So if you do have any questions or if it's about just general shipping strategy, how to get your, your shipping operations off the ground, we're here to help. Um, we've seen a lot of different businesses be successful with Shippo and we have a lot of really great insights and we'd love to share them. So feel free to reach out. We have a host of different mechanisms to get in contact with us, whether that be live chat, phone, email, et cetera. Um, feel free to utilize them and we'd love to connect. I know I'd love to personally talk to, to anybody who has any questions. Awesome. Thanks, Malcolm. Um, yeah, connect with us. Definitely where you can find us, just go to our website um, and we will follow up um, this webinar with a follow up email with some of that contact information as well. So um, we'll send that along in our follow up email. And before we go, I think Malcolm and Mike were taking care of questions as they were coming in. But uh, before we go, we announced this a couple of weeks ago just to help our smaller SMB customers. Um, typically, pay as you go has a five cent label fee. We've decided to waive that so that you can manage all of your uh, shipping through Shippo essentially for no fees. And if you are shipping below 5,000 labels per month, we are waiving subscription fees as well. So um, definitely try us out, see how it works for your business. We're here to help. And again, we'll follow up with an email. Um, and if you have any questions, you can respond to that email. Someone on my team, on the success team will get it. We can connect you with Malcolm or Mike if it is um, kind of sales related or um, you need more information around just how to get started. Um, but we came online to do this to kind of capture multiple questions at one time that were coming at us um, and give everyone feedback in this way a lot faster than we are one-on-one -on, -one on emails. But we are responding to everyone as quickly as possible. And yeah, thank you again for joining. I hope everyone has a very happy Friday and a great weekend. <laughs>